Alright guys, we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we are going to be building something based on the FV-4005, which is a British tank with a massive turret. What we're going to do is we're going to build something with the turret, we're going to build something that is chunky, and we're going to build something that ho hopefully works. Yeah, hopefully works. Anyway, this thing that you can see right here didn't really get that much attention from you guys, but hopefully you guys like it. Essentially, it was an auto cannon tracked truck, and um, it worked really well, so if you guys haven't seen it, check out the previous video. Alright, we are starting afresh, guys. This is going to be kind of interesting. Anyway, go to freeform holes, let's go to this guy right here, and we'll actually leave it just that size. That is actually A-OK. -okay. This is going to look a little bit cursed, uh, in fact it's going to look very cursed, but don't worry about it too much. So, let's go to fenders and get rid of those for right now, and the tracks, we're going to go to those, and we're going to make the separation a little bit less, there we go. From there, we're going to make them very wide, there you go, we're going to make them crazy wide, at least, I don't know, maybe a little bit. So one meter wide is how big we're going to make them, we're then going to make them 250 millimeters thick, there you go, that is kind of insane already. And we're going to lift that up, we're going to lift this up, and I guess we're going to lift that up as well. There we go. Okay, I mean it looks insane, but that is kind of how we want it. I'm going to make the length of this a little bit longer as well, just so it looks a little bit nicer. 200. There we go. Yeah, that looks lovely. Okay, so I've made all of the wheels the right size, except from the return rollers, which I guess we just do this. And I guess we have to just make them a little bit skinnier, there we go. And I might even make them a little bit bigger in terms of their diameter, because at the minute they're a little bit too small. But there we go, something like that is exactly what we want. From here, we're going to go through these guys and figure out what we want them to look like. I think um, this is what we want, kind of. Although not really, I don't know. I'm going to go with this, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Going to do that on those guys as well, there we go. And the tracks, I kind of want to go with those, but I guess if we go with those, I'm going to make the length of them a little bit longer. In fact, yeah, something like, something like that seems to work. Okay, it's very strange looking so far, but don't worry about it, I'm sure it'll be fine. Alright, back to the fenders. Let's go ahead and raise those up and try and fit them on top of there. We're then going to go to the separation and send those guys inwards. It is going to be a very skinny tank. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and make them wider. There we go, so it fits over the edge. Going to make it look like that, I think, kind of, sure. The front is going to look like this, and I guess the angle of it is going to look like that. The scale of it is going to be huge. There we go. And I guess the rear offset is going to go further back than, than that as well, so to around there. There we go. Currently this looks absolutely insane, um, but I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's completely fine. So let's grab each of these and we'll angle those guys backwards. I'm then going to go to faces and I'm going to bring this all forwards to pretty much the front actually. And I might even angle this even further backwards like this, because I'm going to lower it down. There you go. We need as much space as we can get, otherwise we might have some issues. Anyway, bring this up to about here. There we go, we can then angle this guy backwards, which will be lovely, there we go. And then we can have the driver's bit just here, like so. There you go. I say the driver's bit, and every other bit as well, clearly. So, grab these two, there we go, send it backwards just a little bit. I'm gonna raise up the entire thing. There we go, and that looks lovely. Is it gonna work? Probably, yeah. Alright, so this squidged boy is gonna go in right here, there we go, we'll have two driver's views, even though we'll only use one, that is completely fine, yes. Utilities, we're gonna go ahead and shove, I guess, one of these on the front, like that, there we go. Uh, I don't know what else to actually add to this thing, I'm gonna do the riveted thing. This is something that I add to, like, loads of tanks now, but it's a cool idea. It gives a little bit of, uh, decoration to the front. And, um, overall just looks kind of cool, so that's why we add these. Anyway, push it down, there we go, and then push it in, so that it fits in there, and honestly, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Okie dokie, from there, we're gonna add these guys, these little D-ring thingamabobbies. I usually think these look pretty good, and in this situation, I really like the idea of it. So we're gonna add those guys right there. Nice. So far, this is actually looking way better than expected. Considering it's so squidged, because it is very squidged. Anyway, uh, let's go to 
The tracks, yes. I'm gonna go to the sprocket. The mount size of the sprocket is gonna be huge. And then I'm gonna try and fit this to it, which, I don't know, might seem like a weird idea, but maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, if we split this right here, we can go to this guy, and we should be able to, like, extend it, and then lower it down. That isn't quite how it works, actually. That's not gonna work. That isn't gonna work. But maybe if I grab both of these and send it down? I don't really want to do that, though. So, what do we do? <laughs> what do I do in this situation? I don't know, I think I grab all of this, I send it forwards to wherever I need to be, and then I extend it. I only grab the bottom ones, and send those backwards. No. And extend those backwards. Aha! Nice, okay. It does mean the fenders don't really fit, but if I do this, then the fenders do fit. Okay. <laughs> I'm working things out, a little bit at a time. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and send this guy forwards. And upwards, just a little bit maybe. There we go. What do we think? For a back end, I think that's okay. Yes. Alright, so now it's time to actually make this bit look a little bit nicer, because at the minute we are having some issues. So let's extend this guy out to there. I'm then gonna go ahead and squidge this so it's a little bit smaller. I don't know if that's quite right. I didn't really want that, but yep, yeah, sure. We're gonna do that, and honestly that looks okay. It looks kind of British. Sure, we're rolling with it. We are rolling with it. I'm gonna send this backwards a little bit more. I'm gonna have some boxes right here. Gonna have our engine bits and bobs right there. Exhaust probably on the back. Turret on the front at the top. And that's gonna look awesome. Okay, straight in here with stowages. Let's go to these guys and try and attach them onto there. I'm then gonna lower it down slightly to about here. I'm then gonna squidge it a little bit. And I'm gonna extend it so it's a little bit longer. Maybe not that long though. There we go. Alright, is that lovely? Is that bad? Who knows? I think that's kind of cool, though. I think this is good. Let's move on to the gun, I guess? No, not the gun. Let's move on to the engine bay, because the engine bay needs to go on here somewhere. Now, I'm thinking we use these, we put them sideways, and we just shove them on the back end, like, around here-ish, I guess? So something like this, I want to move them this way slightly. Obviously one of these needs to be inverted, so we'll do maybe the other way actually. Let's do, no, this way seems seems right. And actually I don't mind them looking like this. However, what I am going to do is, okay, that is not what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and do this, just to make them slightly smaller, so that then I can move them sideways. And I can push them down a little bit. There we go. Honestly, I think that looks pretty good, so we'll leave it as is. I might even actually add two of these on the back end, kind of like this. Um, not entirely sure why, but yeah, I think they look cool. Anyway, next thing is the exhaust. I really like using these guys. I think it'll look super strange if I just left it like that, though. <laughs> so let's not. I could even mount them in the mounts. Kind of like that, and that actually doesn't look terrible. It does look strange, though. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm going to keep it, though. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, cool, so that's the engine bay done. Now we can actually probably move on to the gun. Luckily, I have built one of these before, or at least something like it before, so this is what we currently have. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go to firepower and I'm gonna remove this completely. There we go. This now looks amazing. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Uh, but we're gonna go back to compartments and we're gonna select all of it, if we can. And I'm gonna try and make it slightly wider. There we go. And honestly, a lot longer too. There you go. This is gonna look an even taller. Hey, that's a lot of things. Uh, right, so I'm gonna move this up. There we go. I'm gonna move it backwards so that it fits right there. And that looks insane, actually. That looks kind of insane. But I like it, so we're gonna go ahead and keep it probably around there. Although, actually, let's move it backwards to around here. Just so that we can add some sort of hatch on the top, so the driver and the co-driver can get out. Maybe. I don't know, that makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. Let's go ahead and make this guy bigger as well, there we go. This looks lovely, yeah. Gonna get rid of this, there we go. And we'll put a different decal on, but this is looking nice. Okay, so as for firepower and stuff like that, uh, we're gonna get to that in a second. But I need to go to this, and I need to split this in a few different places. So split that there, there we go, split this here, and split it on this side as well. Here we go, we're then gonna go ahead and go to this guy and split this. I think I might have to do that again. Yeah, so go to edges, split that again, and split this one? 
I don't think this is how you do this, but sure. Split this one as well. Then go to faces. We're going to grab each and every one of those. Extend it. Push it backwards and in. And there we go. That is where our mantlet is going to sit on the inside. So, firepower. Mantlets. This guy. Real big. There we go. Just so it sort of fits in there. Very nice. Um, it's kind of a weak spot that now, but I think it'll be okay. Right, we're going to go ahead and raise that so it's a little bit bigger. And now we need to figure out what kind of cannon it actually needs. We could go overboard, but I'm not so sure we should. Because I could go to like, I don't know, a thousand millimeters if we wanted. But I don't think that's a good idea. That looks good. I mean, that's the cannon that we were going to have anyway, but 183 millimeters. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? I think that's sick. I think that's actually really cool. But what I'm going to do is actually increase the propellant length, because I can. And I'm going to slightly decrease whichever one this is. So this is one, two, three. Probably the third one. Uh, a little bit. There we go. Kind of like that. There we go. That looks lovely. That looks really nice. Yeah. Okay, but I don't think I should leave it like that. I feel like I should have two. So let's move this off to the side. And we will be having two guns. Yes. In fact, grab this and we can just have two of them, I guess, like that. There we go. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that is exactly what I want. Nice. Okay, so let's go to crew. We need another loader. And that's it. There we go. We've got another loader. We've got a gunner. Excellent. Now we need ammo racks. And then once we've got the ammo racks, we are good to go. Can we fit the ammo in here? It is quite long. Yes, we can. Go ahead and shove that there. Make sure it's on the inside, so push it forwards. And then we need it to be really big. There we go. We need lots of rounds. So we're going to go with 30 rounds? I think that's probably enough for a tank, actually. So there we go. 30 rounds inside our vehicle. What do we think? Three, two, one, fire! Yeah, this is sick. This is so cool. Nice. Okay, so I'm also going to add another person. They are going to be our radio man because we have antenna on this thing, which is pretty good. That is pretty much what you want. Uh, so we'll keep that. I wanted one of these. Uh, maybe it could go there, actually. Yeah, it looks okay. Good, so we're going to have that there. We got some extra boxes as well, but I don't want to put them on. Crew hatches. Let's go with these guys. And we'll actually make them slightly smaller. And we will put them right there. So we can still open them. That's okay. Um, yeah, good. Okay, uh, as for lights and stuff like that, I'm actually going to go ahead and add some huge lights right here. And one singular huge light in the center. And then I guess we need some rear lights as well. Don't really have room for them. Not really. I might actually just put them here. They're a little bit impaired because this is in the way, but I'm sure it's fine. Okie dokie. Next thing that I want is actually some ladders. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. We're going to go ahead and get a ladder. We're going to shove it there. We're going to make it slightly bigger. So we're going to do this. There we go. I'm also going to do this. So it's a chunky ladder. Nice. I'm then going to grab it and we're going to put it right there. We're then going to go to this one and we're going to miss one. There we go. Good. And this is how we get them in the a nice straight line and separated pretty much perfectly. So there you go, that goes all the way up to the top, so we can climb up there if we need to. Very nice. Very nice indeedy. I don't know whether I like it, but it works. Next thing, we're going to go ahead and shove these guys on. However, I actually want to use these ones, because they're extended slightly. So let's go ahead and do that right there. Let's shove one of those right here. There we go. And we'll also shove two of them at the back as well. There we go. That is lush. That is very, very nice. Okay, there's not much else that I actually want to do with this thing, except add armor, so that is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so front is 200, front is 200, front is 200, side is 200, uh, side right here is 90, all of the big bit of the side is 90, uh, we've then got some little bits on the sides, the back is 80, uh, the roof is going to be 10, I don't think there's much need to actually armor the roof, so we're not going to do that, unless we just do the front bit, there we go, we're going to make that 60. So now we weigh almost 90 tons. That is a very, very heavy tank, but it might work. We also need to actually go a little bit crazier than this as well, because we need the engine to be way bigger too. So 16 cylinders at 2.5 liters each. There we go. It doesn't actually fit. Oh no, it doesn't fit. So we're going to have to go to compartments. So like this, basket space less. 
Oh, there we go. That works. Nice. Okay, and that's it. So we do actually fit everybody within the tank. That's pretty good. We do need to go to firepower. We need to select each gun because I think uh, we need to go to mount and actually make the base armor a lot more. Otherwise, we'll have some issues. Also, one wants to fire and then the other one wants to fire. So we're going to put this one on three, this one on two, and then we can fire them separately and that'll be good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's give it a bit of a livery. I want it to be tanned, I guess, like a tan color. Saturation, I don't know, a little bit. Brightness, eh, I don't know, something like, something like that actually looks pretty good, yes. We're then gonna go to decals, yes. And I don't know what we want. Should I put one of these on the side? I don't know, that might look cool. <laughs> it might look cool, I don't know what it is, but sure. Let's just go ahead and shove that right there. So, nah, maybe not at an angle. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and shove that up there. That's fine. And then I think we'll make it... I kind of want to make it, like, British, but that doesn't look good. Maybe, like, a little one of these on the side at the bottom corner or something? Something like that. That works. I say British. That's Peruvian. Uh, because I think this should be the other way around. I think it should be white, red, white, but never mind. I'm sure it's fine. Actually, what does this say that it is? This says it's a British emblem. I think it's the wrong way around. But that's okay. We're also going to shove one right here in the center, and we're good to go. All right, nice. Yeah. Oh, one last thing, though. I think it might be missing a Commander's Coupler. So let's go to crew, and one of these, I guess. I'm actually just going to go ahead and shove that right there in the center, and that's it. We are now good to go. It moves. If I press F2, we're on fire group 2. If I shoot my friend over there, we should be able to destroy him. It didn't actually destroy him. That is a good sign. Kind of. I mean, it's a bad sign and a good sign, to be fair. Let's go and turn. There we go. We destroyed it. Nice. Okay. This thing's sick. Okay, so which scenario do we usually think is the hardest? Probably the tiger one, right? So I've got the worst livery for this because, you know, I've got desert camo in the, uh, in the snow. You know, clearly not a good idea, but we're going to go ahead and try and use it anyway. We're going to go up this hill and, I don't know, destroy all six of the enemies. I think we're going to be able to do it. Let's go ahead and select one of the guns. Here we go. Oh, this thing looks sick. It looks lovely. Nice. I do feel like it could be extended and made longer, but that's the only thing I would change. Anyway, I see three of the enemies. I am now going to face towards all three of them and try and shoot them all at once, which seems ridiculous, to be honest. All right, here we go. Turn sideways. Ah! There we go. One's dead. Change round or change cannon. I guess if I can aim that one down there, that'd be great. Here we go. Oh, I can't actually aim it down enough. They're going to get close to me, and this is bad. Uh-oh. Oh, I destroyed that one easily. That one literally got decimated. Okay, hang on. I'm still reloading. Just wait for me to reload and I'll shoot you. Three, two, one. Oh, I got destroyed. Oh, I got shot in the side of the turret and died. That is one of my most armored pieces. Look. Oh. Wait, actually, no, it's not. Oh. I'm going to make that thicker. It's all at 85 mil. That is... Not what I thought it was. I'm going to make it thicker. We're going to go to 200. I know that sounds insane, but yes, I want to go to 200. Okay, we now weigh 102 tons. <laughs> Let's get in there again. Okay, I've stopped that guy from going forwards. I said halt, and he halted. So that's nice. All right, come with me. Uh, convoy, I guess. Is, is he going to follow in? Are we going to have a convoy of huge F4005s? 4005, yeah, we are. He's on his way. Nice. Okay, so as soon as we get close enough, they will spawn, which indeed they have. And then this is our time to shine. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep that guy out of trouble. Actually, no, just attack. I'm going to keep that guy in trouble so that hopefully they are, uh, I don't know, more concerned with them than me. Okay, there is a few of them there and I need to shoot them all now. Here we go, turn sideways and fire! Oh, we didn't kill him. Change gun, fire! There we go, nice. All right, reverse. Actually, there's a guy there. Let's just go ahead and try and wait to kill him. Is that a King Tiger? I think we might be fighting a King Tiger. Oh, never mind, this guy needs to get shot. 
I'm gonna actually reverse down just so that I fight less enemies at a time. He's killed my radio man. That's kind of sad. I think he's just being killed by this guy, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, what are you? Dead, that's what you are. All right, who's next? I seen a tree fall over over here. Did it actually though? Are we getting shot from that side? I'm not sure. This guy's turning that way, so maybe they are over there. Who knows? All right. Yeah, they're shooting the trees down. That's not too good, actually. <laughs> we don't want them to shoot the trees down. Because then they can see us and we can't see them. Oh, I see him, actually. Too high? Did I actually just aim too high? Oh, that hit him, but it didn't kill him. Okay, I feel really bad for my radio operator, because he did just get shot and killed. And, um... We can't really do anything about it. That guy doesn't seem to be able to kill anyone. We got issues. We got we got many issues. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go around the side and see if we can kill the King Tiger that's closest to us. And then at least we only have one to fight after that, I guess? Sure. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can find him first. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's turning sideways slightly. I think I might have just shot a tree. Not the best, actually. That's really not good. Let's continue forwards a little bit. Okay. Oh, no. My other guy's dead. Oh, now I'm dead. Where did he shoot me? I wish I could see where they shot me. I think it was this round right here that killed me. That's a bit of a yikes. That's a bit of a yikes. So, yeah, I always find this map very difficult. And, um, not sure why. <laughs> like, I guess this tank isn't the best for it. But let's go again, one more time. I'm gonna try it differently this time. Also, I should mention, this tank is very tall, so even trying to hide the big box on the top, kind of difficult to do. And then the AI likes to fire off both rounds at once, which just recoil is an issue. I don't know. I don't know what we do in this situation. Do we just play it better? Maybe we do. Anywho, let's go ahead and drive this direction. Please don't shoot me. And wait for an enemy to pop over the hill and annihilate them. Because that's our job. That is our job. Okay, I see one of them. Oh, our first... Our other guy is dead already. That just shot the ground. I just shot the ground. I shot straight down. That's not good. Okay. I might be able to get a line on this guy. Okay, I shot the ground again. Clearly, I'm not doing well. <laughs> this is so bad. Enemy spotted! Over there somewhere. Where is he? There he is. All right, see if we can take him out first. There we go, nice. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Okay, let's continue over this way. See if we can see anyone else over there. They're up there somewhere. Oh, it was further right. Oh, this is bad. They've just killed my driver. And now I'm going to die. As soon as that guy shoots again, I'm dead. Oh, and then there's another one. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He's going to shoot me in the bum. He missed! Oh, hey! Okay, don't get too close to me, because I... Oh, he killed me. Yikes! Okay, so, turns out this tank not very good for this map. Honestly, two massive guns like this don't really make that much sense. Also, a 102-ton tank also doesn't make much sense. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and save it real quick, and we'll try a different mission. Alright guys, I feel like this is the kind of combat this tank is actually suited for. Long range against another heavy tank. There's a King Tiger chilling over there. And now it's dead. So yeah, this is the kind of mission this tank works with, okay? Long range battles, because of our huge gun, it destroys everything. Sorry, huge guns. We got two of them, for some reason. Alright, here we go, more long rangeness. Um, this one is a bit of an interesting map for this, because... Essentially, uh, we fight quite a few uh, light tanks to begin with. And the light tanks do like to surround you, and they are not at long range. So the trickiest bit of this, I believe, is going to be the light tanks at the start. Also, definitely because that guy fires off both guns at the same time, it makes it a little bit more difficult. You know? Yes. Alright guys, we've spawned them, so now it's time to... I, I, I was going to try and reverse out of there, but actually that's not going to work out for us. We're going to have to just go in, and hopefully they don't get through my armor. But, 
What's the likelihood of that? You know, it's it's not high. I mean, it is high that they're gonna get through. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, I see an enemy, I shoot it. It didn't kill it! Oh, no! I just fired off both rounds! And I didn't kill either of them. That's not good. That is not good whatsoever. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do in this situation. Honestly. Let's go ahead. Oh, he's just fired off both rounds, hasn't he? And did nothing. He didn't kill anyone. Which, uh, to be fair, I didn't either. But still, that's not the point. Hey, we got one. Okay, change to the other round. We killed two! My guy has been decimated by that swarm of little buggers over there. The swarm of little buggers is now going to kill me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so this tank, uh, not really not really for these kind of battles, as I said at the beginning. But if they all just want to sit there and shoot me in the heavily armored bits, that's okay. That's fine by me, guys. Fine by me. Oh my, it didn't kill him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right, well, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to survive this, but I'm just going to go ahead and wait. And hopefully I do. How many of them are here? One, two, three, four. Four of them are here. There's seven of them. Okay. So three are missing. That's fine. All right, here we go. I... I you've got to be pooping me. There we go. All right, I missed one round. Well, I mean, what does the front of my tank look like? It's just getting peppered right now. It's working out fine. It's okay. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, fire! Oh, as if it didn't kill him! So what actually happened is, I think it went straight through him, actually. I think that's what's happened. So that was two rounds for that tank. Ugh. Oh, is there actually two hiding behind- Oh, there's two hiding behind my dead tank. Not just one. So there's two over there, and then there's three here, which equals five. Yes. Okay, no, I can do math. I can sometimes do maths. All right, here we go. Fire! Nice, he's dead in one shot. Excellent. Change rounds. Two seconds, we can fire again. Don't believe that killed him. That's really annoying. We gotta wait again. All right, how many rounds have I got left? Eight and eight. I don't think I'm gonna have enough rounds to kill everybody, actually, after this. We're gonna try, though. We will try. Three seconds till I can fire. Two, one. Where did that even go? Legit, where did that even go? I have no idea. That didn't kill him either. Okay, we're having issues, guys. Small issues. Big issues. Huge issues. Um, we can't kill the little enemies. Never mind the big ones. Because my rounds go straight through. Because they're just AP. If I had AP HE rounds... Different story. The environment just killed that guy, it says. Good on you, environment. You're doing good. I hate this game. I hate this game. He's not dead. I'm gonna ram him. Going in for the kill. No, he's already dead. He did die. I think he did die. Let's just check. Are you dead? Yeah, I want to say that guy's dead. Okay. Please don't get stuck. I'm gonna get stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, aren't I? Please say I can get off this guy. Come on, there's got to be a way. Oh, there we go. And around, literally just shot him as well. No! <laughs> no! As if that guy came out of nowhere and just demolished me. Naughty man. Because my least armored bit is on the back and he just shot me in the back of the turret. Because I got stuck on him. Oh, just as we were going to get to the fun part. Anyway, um, that is going to be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of it. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, leave a like on it if you enjoyed it as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.